I'll walk you through the functionality of advanced scientific postfix calculator. This calculator is called postfix calculator because the expressions follow the reverse police postfix notation, RPN, or simply postfix notation. Postfix notation is a mathematical notation in which the operator follows all its operands. In this calculator, equal sign is replaced by enter and there are no parentheses. This calculator operates in five different modes. It operates in basic arithmetic calculations, probability, memory, trigonometry, and statistics. I will make you familiarized with the various function buttons available with this calculator. Say we want to specify seven significant digits, that is how we do it. You want to specify five decimal points, this is how you do it. You change the angle from degree to rad to gradient, this is how you do it. You add a number to the memory. Then you add something that is on already on the memory, you retrieve memory, you subtract a number from memory, then you clear the memory. Now say we want to add numbers to statistical register, this is how you do it, and then if you want to clear it, statistical register, this is how you do it. Say you typed a number and by mistake you type 6, you want to delete that. This is how you delete the last number, then you type something else. To display pi, this is how you do it. And now, say we want to round a number. So, this is it, and then we do round. Um, say, specify three decimal points. Uh, three decimal points, and now say 2.3, 6, 9, etc. Now you do round. This is how we round it. So now, uh, let us generate a random number, random number, random number, and then you do round. Random number, number, round. Random number, number, round. Okay, round. Random number, number, and then round. Okay. To clear the register, then to clear everything. And say we type in a number, we want to change the sign. This is how you do it. To type in a an exponential number to make it negative. This is how you do it. Say you have a number one e. Say it has a negative decimal point. You want to make a negative. This is how you actually do it. So now let us start with some basic uh, arithmetic operations. So what we do is you first type a number operand then you put that into registry then you type another operand and then you say this is how we actually do it so now that's clear clear all so three we put that into register then two minus this is how we do it say um two we put that into register three minus say you want to multiply with six you want to divide by two so you get the idea this is how the basic arithmetic operations are actually done so now let us perform some of the fraction calculations so one four five you want to simplify this is how it's done so you want to then do register plus this is how you did done so you can actually 2.3, uh, you can plus, this will get you a real number. So now, uh, let us say 5, uh, the square, now you have square root, cube, cube root, say 7, I put that in number, 2, so that should be the square root of 7. So e to the power, 10 to the power, log x, then x, natural log x, reciprocal. So now let us perform some of the trigonometric operations. Say 45 degrees, 
ون هي ساين انفرس ساين كوس انفرس كوس تان انفرس تان so now let us perform the hyperbolic functions so if i hyperbolic sine inverse sine and now you can perform the rest of the operations so 45 degree sexa decimal numbers for minutes you know the sign of that because we are doing hyper sign so let's remove hyper so 45 5 7 so this is sign uh, inverse sign now uh, let's uh, take perform some of the percentage operation say 12 5 percent this is how we get now perform the rectangular to polar so 12 is one coordinate 5 is another coordinate so rectangular to polar and but to get um, the angle this is what we do so now say 45 we specify we put that in register so 5 is the angle here in degrees and now this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate uh, let us perform some of the scientific operations so 1 4 that is a number so 3 e, 7 so we do plus this is what we get so now uh, let us perform some of the statistical operations say 4 we add that to statistical register 7 we add that to statistics 8 and we add that to statistics now number of numbers we added to statistics average sum x this is sum x square uh, this is sample variance sample standard deviation so we pretty much uh, cover uh, the functionalities of uh, this uh, calculator there are two more uh, to really to go over two more the basic operations say seven uh, is a number you want to find the div uh, so basically you find two so seven again that's the number you want to find more the remainder that's actually one so these are the two additions to the um, advanced scientific uh, post fix calculator so with this, we pretty much cover the basic operations, probability, uh, memory, uh, trigonometry, statistics. And let me just go over a couple points uh, quickly here. The NCR, NPR, um, and then the factorial. Say 12. Uh, so that's the factorial of 12. Say 12, we push that to register. And 5, we find out NCR. And then say 12, and we push that to register and 5 we do NPR this is what we get so these are the with this we pretty much cover the functionality of the advanced scientific uh, post calculator thank you very much